Okay, guys, so we're live right now. We're going to react to Scabitty Toilet 67 Part 1. This is Part 1. Apparently, this, this could be, like, the final battle. Like, we may be getting into, like, the end of Scabitty Toilet here, which would be wild. At least that's what it said in the, um... Oh, my God, what in the world, dude? Bro, this is crazy. This reminds me of, like, a Call of Duty mission. But, yeah, we could be getting into, like, the final the final episodes here. Dude, this is crazy. Like, if you showed someone this and then showed them the first episode, they wouldn't even think it's the same thing. They'd be like, this is, this is not the same series. Oh my God. My man's got an arrow through his chest. What is that? My man looks like Freddy Krueger. Oh, it's the Titans. Oh my God, they are alive. There it is, dude. They are alive. They are alive, dude. And he's... Just cut that man's head in half, dude. Oh my God. He just slapped him. Oh my god! I love how violent this has gotten, dude. Oh, here we go, dude! Bro, okay. Okay, look, I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, Skibbity Toilet is super cringe, bro. Can't believe you're watching it, bro. It's kind of cringe, man. That's cool. Okay. I don't, I don't that's okay. Look, th that, that, look, this is cool. I, this is cool. It's cool now. I'm sorry. It's cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Dude, I hope the next episode is. He just, he just, he just did the Undertaker thing, dude. Bro, the next episode is going to be insane. What the heck, dude? Okay. All right, you know what we got to do? You know what we got to do, man? I added him on Discord. We've been chatting. He, not like that. Um, <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> anyway. One, Elite. Wait. Hello, everyone. Elite cameraman here. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello, everyone. Elite cameraman here. I love that. I love that. I love that so much. After a whole week of waiting, episode 67, part one was released, and it really had a cliffhanger and a half. Yeah. This episode really served as a great... This guy's so sassy. ...build up to the next, and as you guys know, this episode is not actually finished, and it's already almost two minutes long. Yeah. If you remember episode 57, it was two parts, and episode 67, which is exactly ten episodes after episode 57, might also... I love it. He's like, uh, 10 episodes after episode 60, uh, 57, uh, you, you remember? I love this guy. I love this guy, dude. There'll be two or maybe more parts. If the series actually continue, we might get to see episode 77. Also be multiple parts. If Dafuk wants to continue on the tradition, this episode might not seem big when you just watch it. But in the grand... Do you guys think this is going to be the end of Skibidi Toilet? Like... It said in the last episode, the final battle, question mark. I don't know. Like, it feels like we're rolling up on the, the final boss, the final mission. We're at Wiley's castle. You know what I mean? I don't know. In the scheme of things, it was a great episode and a buildup to what's to come. We saw the Titan duo come back, and as I guessed on my video about the leaks, Titan TV man was nowhere to be seen. Yeah. And it seems like the huge battle is beginning in the next part or episode because the description of this episode is... It's time. It Yesterday, time. after the episode 67 leak was discovered on the merch store, people thought episode... The merch store? No, wait, there's a merch... Oh, yeah, there is a merch store. I... Okay. Uh, uh, if, if, if in the next episode, the scientist guy dies gruesomely, epically, I will buy Skibbity Toilet merch. 
episode 67 would come out later today, but hours ago, Da Fook Boom sent this image to his Discord's Skibidi Spoilers yeah. section and said, 40 minutes. If we go back, he also said 40 minutes for episode 66 as well when it was about to come out. He told me uh, 40 is his favorite number. He loves that number. He loves that. So I'm guessing that from now on, we'll be getting a 40 minute to one hour head sup before episodes are released. Because before this, instead of Dafuk. Oh my God, I think I just broke my chair. Oh my God, I think, dude, my chair just snapped. I don't know if you guys heard that. Bro, I think I just broke my chair. Oh my God. It just cracked. My chair just cracked, dude. I, 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 I. I I only weigh like a hundred and like what, like forty-five pounds, hundred and fifty pounds, something like that. I, I, that's normal for a man, you know. I, I, I think I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Himself, the old owners of the Discord used to reveal that it was coming out about one hour before it was released. The last two episodes both came out at similar times, and I'm not going to lie. After I saw the leak, I thought it would come out later today as yeah. well. So I went to sleep, and that's why I'm posting this analysis a little late than usual. I guess it's time to adjust my sleep schedule. And before we get into the actual analysis... I like to imagine that this guy is like some eight-year-old kid, and he's just like, he's into it, dude. Like, his bedroom is like a command center. And like, he's like, not now, Mom. I can't eat dinner now. I gotta make this video. You know, like, that's how I like to imagine this. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe because we just reached 800,000 subscribers and we are on our way to 1 million subscribers. Dang, I man. also know that it's very possible to reach this goal because if we look at the statistics, literally 77% of you are not subscribed to the channel, so you guys better subscribe. Am I subscribed? I'm subscribed. On a serious note, thanks to everyone who has been supporting the channel, hopefully you guys are actually enjoying the analysis videos. They're great. Anyways, here we go. To me, today's episode revealed a lot of stuff about what's going on and what might happen, but it left more questions instead of answering my questions because we didn't get to see what happened between episodes 65 and 67. There were actually some differences in Scientist Toilet. And if he is the- Wait! Was there not an episode 66? Wait, am I dumb? Wait, no, never mind. I'm dumb. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm completely stupid. Just forget everything I just said. Real scientist toilet, it looks like he has been through a fight. And with this, we also saw Secret Agent twice while watching the scene again. And I'm hoping that we'll get to understand everything that happened in between because episode 66 and episode 67 part 1 probably had a decent time skip between them. Yeah. One question that was answered was the tablet that the cameraman had in episode 66 which showed the Titans being dead and thankfully it turned out to be fake. Anyways, this episode starts with us on a vehicle. Thankfully. Man, mom, I can't go to school today because uh, Titan cameraman died. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a few days, mom. I'm going to need a few days. Okay, you don't understand, mom. Titan cameraman died. He's dead. And just don't mess with me right now. DNI. DNI, mom. DNI. DNI. <laughs> going through the base that was destroyed in the last episode, and it looks like we are watching from a large cameraman POV instead of a normal cameraman POV. This gets more clear later in the video, but either way, we would be looking at this devastating scene because my guess is that the toilets caused a havoc after the special agents left the scene on episode 66, and the squad POV cameraman is going with might actually be the rescue squad. We start the scene by seeing the whole of place course. in flames, and if you look carefully, there are both dead cameraman, speakerman, and toilets, which means that a fight 100% happened here, and the whole place is burning in flames. And Dude, imagine that they make Skibbity Tola into a movie, like FNAF. And, like, imagine how confused the parents are going to be. You know, it's like, hey, mom, can you watch, can, can, can we go watch the new Skibbity Toilet movie? And then mom's like, yeah, sure, son, what's it about? So, um, there's these uh, toilets and they're attacking the world. And then the world is being defended by these cameramen and speakermen. And it's actually really violent, but um, it's actually kind of cool. Can we go, Mom? Like, like, imagine Mom explaining that to Grandma, you know what I mean? 
And while this is happening, we see something strange. If you look behind, you can clearly see a green glow flash for a second with- Oh my God, I missed that. Someone next to it. We all know at this point that this is the secret agent. Yeah. It didn't seem like he actually interfered today, but this doesn't mean that he won't, because every episode he has been interfering more and more. Also, don't forget that this was just part one of this episode, which means that he probably is still there and might interfere and appear in the next part as well. Yeah. This episode is just part one. Dude, there's so many toilets on the ground. It's like a Bed Bath & Beyond exploded. You guys ever see a Bed Bath & Beyond get like destroyed? That well, whenever I lived in Florida, that was a big Bad Bath & Beyond, and it got it shut down. So they brought in like a wrecking ball, and it was just toilets everywhere, just boom, everywhere. And it was almost two minutes long, which means the full episode 67 is probably going to be the longest episode ever in the series, surpassing three minutes. After the scene with Secret Agent, the no POV way. cameraman looks to his right, and we see two cameramen trying to run away, and this was the main thing that confused me about this episode. While everyone else is dead, how are they alive? How did they actually survive this place? Unless they are troops that came after like the POV cameraman, I feel like it's very unlikely to survive an event like this because seconds later we'll see the true nature. This is what the Taco Bell bathrooms look like. If you guys ever go in a Taco Bell bathroom, it's just fire. Fire everywhere. Sure of what happened here, but before that, we see two new machine gun toilets attacking us, which it's like a Taco Bell and a Bed Bath and Beyond had a baby, and then the baby exploded. We kill by launching two rockets at them. If you pause the scene right here, you can clearly see one speaker man and one large cameraman who has been killed on the right side. But if you look carefully, they literally have been stabbed with huge metals sticking them to the ground. What a cruel way to kill someone. True. <laughs> Bro, he says that like he knows. <laughs> yeah. Back when I killed someone, that's how I did it. And it was a very cruel way to do it. This also means that it wasn't simply just a normal toilet who killed these Alliance troops, because a normal toilet could not have done this, and we actually know who did it. If we roll back to the beginning of episode 65, you'll see the upgraded police toilet and how he kills people. I didn't even know that. These I did know that, but I didn't realize it. Dead troops on the ground actually foreshadow what's to come, because seconds later, we get the return of the upgraded police toilet from episode 65. He appears out of nowhere and starts shooting the vehicle, and if you pause at the right second, you can see that he actually hits the driver cameraman twice. After the car stops, the police toilet also shoots the large cameraman next to us right when he is about to shoot. But it seems like that was his last bullet because if we pause the scene when he sees that the POV cameraman also has rockets, we can see his shocked <laughs> Dude, this face, man. Wait, 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 dude, dude, dude. How do I, how do I zoom in? Zoom. No, 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 no. Zoom in. No, no, no. Zoom in more. <laughs> okay. Face being goofy. Kids, don't go into a fight ever, but if you do, make sure to analyze your opponents first. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll end up like the upgrade police toilet. Right after the kids don't get into a fight at school. Your bully might pull out two rocket launchers and shoot you in the face with a rocket launcher. And trust me, as someone who's been shot in the face with a rocket launcher, you do not want that to happen. Okay? So don't get into fights at school. For this, we see the POV cameraman shoot his rockets at him, causing the police toilet to almost crash. But it seems like his defenses are very strong because he was able to actually escape and survive two rockets. Normally, toilets on his scale die pretty quickly, but it seems like their yeah. armors have improved quite a lot after the return of the scientist toilet. After the police toilet leaves, we get a decent look at the place we are at. Yeah. But if you were subscribed and watched my last video, you already knew about this place because I covered it when the episode 67 leaks got out, and it actually gave us a better look compared to what we see in the video because it was shown outside of the cameraman POV even from the first glance, you can see the toilet statue. That kind of looks like my school's water fountains. Like my elementary school's water fountains. Like they looked that nasty too. Like they, they were that gross looking. I'm surprised I didn't get like some sort of like disease from them. Is that we saw in episode 66. Maybe I did. Maybe that's how I became a Roblox YouTuber.
because I drank out of the elementary school water fountain. And that this mountain most likely has a secret base inside, and it's probably very huge. There are many speculations going around about what's inside, and my theory is that it's probably the laboratory for the toilets, and G-Man Toilet might actually be inside here waiting for Scientist Toilet to get him outside with his upgrades, but I'll get to why I think it's a big lab inside later in the video. After Police Toilet leaves the area, the large cameraman also get out of the car because the driver is dead. But something really <laughs> weird happens right here because yeah. the POV cameraman suddenly looks to his right, and we see the secret agent standing on the smoke. Dude, I did not notice that. This, this man is crazy. But it really seemed like the POV cameraman either felt something watching him in this scene. We don't know what the secret agent is planning, but we know that he has been teleporting left and right the last two episodes, and it seems like this will continue. In episode 66, he kind of looked like my thumb. Like, a, like my thumb was there. Literally orchestrated a whole scene by showing a photoshopped image to the cameraman, resulting in them becoming berserk and actually being able to escape with the TV man thanks to the support of the special agents and especially thanks to my beloved TV woman. No <laughs> thanks to my beloved TV woman. This man, dude. This man. Not gonna lie, after episode 66, I thought we'd get to see TV woman again, which oh my God. I was really hyped for. <laughs> this guy. But I guess I'm not getting the treatment I wanted on my episode 65 analysis anytime soon. <laughs> this is great, man. This is great. This is great. Also, before we continue, I realized something about the second scene with the secret agent. I really don't know if it's anything important the second he shows up. If you look in the opposite direction, at the secret bunker's door. You can see the password or the entrance mechanism actually flash for a second, which looks like it actually has been tampered with. Maybe the secret agent actually tempered with this device to allow the Alliance to easily enter. Maybe. Because both these happen at the same time, and unless it's a rendering mistake, it actually would make sense. And it's such a small detail that if it's actually real, I would be really surprised that I noticed it. Maybe the light just flashed. Like, maybe it's a flashing light. I don't know. Also, if it's true, we now know that the secret agent is clearly planning something about, and I think we'll get to see it more on the next part. Seconds later, we see the police toilet trying to sneak up to the large cameraman, but he gets shot with rockets. And if you freeze the frame right before you can see that the rockets that were shot at him before broke his armor and removed one of his weapons. But these don't matter because he literally gets obliterated after getting shot. As I said before, don't be like this police toilet. After the police toilet gets killed, don't get shot in the face with a rocket, guys. We get a zoom in on the large cameraman who shot him, and we can see that he still has the metal spear on his chest. And even though everything, this Sigma cameraman gives us a thumbs up. Actual Jiga Chad behavior, like the. <laughs> Dude, these videos, like sometimes watching these like analysis videos is, is, is better than the actual thing. It's so funny. The video to show your respects to this Chad, like being, I wish you could have survived what's about to come, but before we continue. What a Chad. We also get to see the bunker a lot more clearly thanks to this zoom in. And the weird thing on the left is 100% some type of mechanism that opens and closes the bunker door. And it probably has some security measures that the secret agent might have disabled. It also says lockdown on the bunker door, but that might just be something that came with the asset. But there is something else that... I'm pretty sure that's from Half-Life, which came out in, what, 19... 19... No, 1998? 1996? One of those? 1997? ...peaked my interest, and it's the logo on top of it. If you look really carefully, you can see a DNA logo on top of the lockdown text. And remember what I said about this place being a toilet laboratory. To me, this was the first giveaway. And it might actually be true because we get to see... Because you pee in the toilet and you get your DNA in the toilet? Oh my god. Some insane stuff literally a second later in the video. Suddenly we see the black teleportation smoke and a mechanic hand with toxic capabilities come out of it and shoot acid onto the Chad cameraman literally meddling him. And once it hits the rocket launcher, he explodes. Thanks for your service, large cameraman. We'll never forget you. I know that plot armor doesn't work on regular troops, but I wish he survived. <laughs> Anyways, right after the POV cameraman shoots his rockets inside the black smoke, 
but it doesn't look like it worked at all because this crazy toilet comes out of the black smoke as if nothing happened. This new upgraded toilet looks like Mafia Toilet from episode 28 because of the hat, but we don't know if they are the same. But one thing is for sure, this toilet has been upgraded to the brim and he has no chill. He has the strider brim because he's wearing a hat and he's got the brim of the hat. I, I get it. I get it. Legs, he has his jetpacks and he has the classic buzz saw that most toilets have. But the main thing is he has a hand cannon which shoots acid. And if you guys are actively watching the series, you would know that acid is getting more and more popular among toilets. And it seems like the Alliance will need to take more defensive measures against it because for now... That's true. Last time I went to McDonald's and used their toilet, there was a lot of acid. Only the Titan cameraman could defend himself against his with his shield, but now he won't be able to as well. Because if you rewatch episode 64, you'll see that his plasma shield was definitely attached to his right arm, which doesn't exist anymore. And right when the Mafia toilet was about to shoot the acid onto the POV cameraman, something literally throws a toilet at him, leaving him shocked, and we see that it's the Titan duo arriving at the scene, showing us that they aren't dead, and the Imagine on episode 66 was totally fake. The Imagine? The, Im the image? The, the Imagine? I love, I love the Texas speech. It's so good. We first see the Titan speaker man on top of a plane toilet trying to kill him, and Titan cameraman walking very heavily without his right arm in place, and he seems very angry because even though he is at a disadvantage because of his arm, when the quadruple buzzsaw toilet arrives at the scene, he literally takes one of the buzzsaws and simply sticks it to his arm and starts using it as his new arm. Bro literally stole an arm from a toilet. You know it's about to go down when tight <laughs> cameraman is this mad and this is just the beginning. After getting his new hand, he simply demolishes the quadruple saw toilet, but right after the moth Dude, that is so bloody. Oh my god. The toilet sneak attacks him from the behind. Even though he was already damaged and we could see electricity coming out from his shoulders and core before, he takes on this damage pretty well and literally slaps the shit out of the moth. <laughs> God, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Via toilet with the slap sound effect, which reminded me of what happened in episode 28. And we also see Titan Speakerman slap the mafia with full might seconds later, which was so goofy. But before that, right after Titan Cameraman slaps the mafia toilet, Titan Speakerman shoots the acid hand of the mafia toilet, causing it to explode the acid on his own face. And we can clearly see that his skin is burned down. But that's not the important thing, because you do know that acid literally melts the Alliance troops. But if you look carefully, nothing really happened to Mafia Toilet's tools. And they are all fine, even though the acid touched them. This yeah. means that the toilets have a material that is protective against the acid. And I think after the Alliance... In they got the warranty plan on those Bed Bath & Beyond toilets. They got the, they got the extended warranty. Whenever I bought my toilet, they were like, do you want the extended warranty? It was like a hundred something dollars for like an extended one. Like, why would I want an extended warranty on my toilet? Like, what's it going to do? Like, blow up? Invades the Skibidi Toilets bunker. They'll probably steal the recipe for this material as well. And you already know that the Mafia toilet gets slapped by Titan Speaker Man right after this scene. Titan Speaker Man doesn't even look back after slapping him and just carries on. But the way the Titan duo looks at each other, it's giving me some sus vibes thanks to the... <laughs> ...troll leaks. God damn the way they look at each other. I wish TV Woman looked at me like that. This is the greatest thing. This is the greatest thing. This is the greatest thing. It does not get better than this. This is this is the greatest thing, dude. Right after this scene, we see a huge black smoke, and you could have guessed who was about to come even before seeing the reveal. The POV cameraman gets back a little with his jetpack, and we see the arrival of the scientist toilet. 
but there is something clearly different about him because if you look at his right eye, it's, it's now red. red, and there is a black scratch on it which makes him look demonic. We still don't know when the red eyes come and go for other toilets and what they exactly mean, but one thing we know is, whenever there is a toilet with red eyes, they usually act a little more crazy, and Scientist Toilet's laugh in this episode was a lot more terrifying compared to his normal laugh. Right after the camera pans to the right, and I didn't realize this before, but if you look carefully at Titan Speaker Man, he has stuff that stabbed him on his chest, arm, and leg. It's a lot more clear in the scene before where the Titans look at each other. I'm sure he's fine. But it's crazy that Titan Speaker Man can still fight without getting any treatments. This also means that, after what happened in episode 65, they didn't stop by to get any help or treatment and simply just rushed to the fight because they know that the Alliance needed them. Yeah, I'm Their sure sacrifices fine. will never be forgotten, and I feel like one of the Titans might actually die in the next part because the scientist toilet doesn't look like he'll have any mercy. And at the end of the episode, we see the Titan cameraman saying, you are dead, to scientist toilet and start spinning his buzzsaw. This episode was actually crazy, and hopefully the next part is even more crazier. I really can't wait for the return of Titan TV Man. Dude. I, it's so funny. It's so funny. I love it. I love it. Like the lore and like the how this guy analyzes stuff. It's so good, man. It's so good. It's great. That's, that's Mr. Mr. Uh, the, the boom and uh, elite cameraman. There it is.